Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today I'm extremely excited to bring you this showcase of a rainbow kimono Android 18. Now this card, if nothing else, has in my opinion one of the best card arts in the entire game and I recognize that I might be a little bit biased considering if you guys have been watching me for any period of time then you know how I feel about Android 18 as a character. But seriously, just look at the art, guys. You can tell they put a ton of effort into designing her. Everything from what she's wearing to the fans in the background. It all looks amazing, and I absolutely love it. But with all that said, let's jump into the actual gameplay and see what she can do. So, we we'll bring her on the Tech Hit event because I've had a lot of people in the past complain that they're tired of seeing the same old Boss Rush 3 over and over again, and I totally agree. I mean, it's super easy to do a showcase on Boss Rush, but it does get boring, and since it's been overplayed today, we're gonna change it up a little bit and do a newer event with the tech hit and see how she can perform on a newer event like this. And uh, to be honest, I'll say this right now, I don't expect a ton from this card because she is a free card after all. For those of you who are newer players, you're wondering where she came from or how to get her. Um, I have some bad news. I'm pretty sure you guys are, are out of luck because she was actually the login bonus for the uh, well, She was the New Year's login bonus for last year for 2018, you know 2018 Android 18 makes a lot of sense But if you start playing after that and you don't have her or for some reason you missed that login bonus uh, Which I don't know if it's possible if you had your account from before But let's say you started after 2018 right after the login bonus was over then you might be screwed. Like, <laughs> there's no other way to acquire her right now. Uh, she might be back in the Baba Shop at some point, maybe, or for some kind of special event, but for the time being, you can't get her if you don't have her. And uh, if you guys do have her and you never tested her out, never invested in her, then maybe this video will help you decide whether or not she's worth it. And I'll be honest, I don't feel like she is. The only reason I rainbow her is because I absolutely love her design and I love Android 18. So, I mean, I have my own reasons, obviously. But you'll see here that she's actually not too bad. I mean, she's not gonna impress anybody. She's not gonna output the biggest numbers or anything like that. But overall, she's, she's decent, she's decent. So, oh my God, please don't, don't stun me. It, don't do it. <sighs> Come on, yo, hit nose. We're trying to showcase the 18, he has to stun her. Come on, man. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We'll use this opportunity to tell you guys what exactly this card does. So her leader skill is all types, attack and defense, plus 30%, which is not good. So you're never gonna be running her as a leader. 30% is super low, she doesn't give any HP, and she also doesn't give any key, so she's not a leader by any means. Um, but her super is Destructo Disc, causes supreme damage to enemy, which once again is not that good considering she doesn't give any kind of boost to your allies or uh, lower defense or anything like that. Her passive though is not bad. So Shades of the New Year is her passive. All allies keep plus one, attack and defense plus 20%, and also attack plus 8% per key sphere obtained. So she's a pretty solid um, support unit and she also is a bit of a nuker. So I did bring a few items here. Uh, we're not going to use it on this turn. We'll try to use it on the next turn because we do have type disadvantage here, but as you can see, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight orbs here. Wait, seven? I think it was seven or eight. Oh, that was eight. Never mind. Okay, so eight orbs, which means she'll get uh, quick maths, 64% attack boost. So let's see if that will do. Actually, it's not bad. 537k. 537k. Okay, so <laughs> I was a little bit upset this year. I'm not going to lie. When uh, Since we got Android 18 last year, I was like, yo, are we going to get like... I didn't expect the kimono, but like, are we gonna get some kind of Android 19 this year as a login bonus? And it didn't happen, which doesn't make any sense to me, considering they did Android 18 last year, and for 2019, why they, why, why wouldn't they give us some kind of seasonal Android 19? I don't know, maybe they were just being lazy or something, but um, that would have been really awesome. And next year, maybe we'll get an Android 20, maybe not. I know a lot of people are gonna be very upset if for 2021. We don't get some kind of like kimono android 21 or something like that um but we'll have to see we'll have to see but anyways in terms of seasonal characters 
there haven't really been that many in this game as far as I as far as I know. I mean I've been playing for over two years and the only one that I can think of is this Android 18. If there are more out there, let me know. But if you guys aren't aware, a lot of other anime style like gacha games have seasonal characters as just part of like the regular rotation, right? So Bleach Brave Souls for example, they have seasonal characters for Christmas, seasonal characters for Halloween, Valentine's Day, New Year's, all that stuff. And a lot of the other games have them as well as like summonable characters, like there are actual banners with them, right? And you know what, Dokkan? generally speaking, has always stayed away from them, and I don't really understand why, I'm not, not really sure um, what the thought process behind that is, because, you know what, honestly, <laughs> seasonal characters is a very good way for them to make some extra money, because, you know, people love different looks for their favorite characters, I mean, for example, like, I love this Android 18, and if there was a summonable version like this, I would probably drop some stones, maybe not a ton, maybe like a couple multis, but I would probably summon, and I know a lot of other people would, would as well, so I'm actually curious to hear your opinions on this. Like, do you guys want seasonal characters in this game, or do you think it's like silly and stupid and just like a cash grab and you don't want it? I, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, I'm curious to hear your opinions, and uh, I personally feel like it would be something pretty cool. Like. Here's the thing, if you guys aren't into it, you guys are not down for... Oh, he got locked, okay. <laughs> if you guys aren't down for seasonal characters, right? You don't have to summon all those banners, right? And uh, you can just completely skip it, keep saving your stones. But for those people who actually want seasonals, they can, you know, summon on a banner with like a Christmas Roshi, like a Santa Roshi, but an actual playable character. Or uh, like a Valentine's 18 or Valentine's uh, Bulma or whatever. Or, I mean, yo... <laughs> There's also swimsuit banners that other games have. I know a lot of people would drop some stones for a swimsuit banner. And for me personally, yo, you know I would go deep for a swimsuit 18. So, <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, I think it'd be, it'd be something that's pretty cool, kind of change things up a little bit, but I'm curious to hear your opinions. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, whether or not you think, you know, seasonals are dumb and we can just, you know, stay with the serious characters that we're getting or, Maybe to spice things up a little bit, change things up a little bit, you know, seasonals will be cool. Let me know your opinions. Um, but here, let's actually try to nuke a little bit with our 18 here. So I'm going to use these orb changing items I brought. So I'm going to change AGL first. And then we're going to change AGL to SDR. And then we should be able to change the SDR to physical. And uh, yeah, I couldn't bring four items. I did bring... Um, I did bring a Dende just in case we had to heal, but it looks like we didn't have to. But still, let's actually put her in the middle here. And I'll give these orbs to Android 21. And we have almost a full board for 18, so it's not bad actually. So I believe this is... Uh, we're missing four here, and here we're missing... Uh, about the same actually. Okay, let's go with... This. Yeah, I think she actually gets the attack boost for any type of orb, so it doesn't have to be physical or anything like that. Okay, here we go. Show me something nice. Show me something nice. I'm, I'm guessing somewhere in the range of like 700, 800k, but if it breaks a million, it'll be a nice surprise. But as I said before, it's not really, I mean, it's not really expected for her to do a lot of damage or tank at all. She doesn't really do any of that. She's just cool to look at and, uh, oh, okay, 700k. Can we get a crit? Give me a crit. Oh, got a crit. Nice. And an additional. Yeah, so <laughs> at the end of the day, she's just a cool, like, special character to have. And uh, there's always going to be a better option out there that, uh, like, above her, right? So the Tech 18s, both of them, the Waifu one and also the Tournament Power ones are both better options. And uh, I mean, even the STR was better, too. Ooh, nice transformation. Got that transformation going. So yeah, she's not going to be optimal on anything, but I too really, really loved her design. And I would be totally down for more seasonals in the future. So if there are any Bandai spies out there who are watching this right now, and I know you guys do lurk around the videos, okay? You guys are in the comment sections, you guys are tang around, you know, seeing what the general sentiment of the player base is. So for those of you who are Bandai spies watching right now, yo, make seasonal characters a thing. It'll make you guys even more money. I know Dokkan makes a lot of money. I know Dokkan is able to make a lot of money for you guys, but I mean, with the seasonal characters, having those special banners every year, you know, that's just 
more money in your pocket, man. So so why not? Why not? <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Oh, one last thing I, uh, this, I think I left out actually are the links for, for, the, for the Kimono 18 and also her category. So her links are Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Infinite Energy, Organic Upgrade, The Innocence, and Battlefield Diva. So pretty standard links there, nothing too crazy. Um, and her categories are Peppy Gals and Android. So of course I went with the Androids. Oh, and as far as her build goes, I went with 8 additional, 9 crit, and 9 dodge. Because she is a nuker, she can do a little bit of damage, so I decided to give her a little bit more of a defensive build, also with the dodge. We didn't get the dodge off this time, but could be clutch. I mean, honestly, I don't see her um, being useful in like Super Battle Road or anything like that, so I don't think it really matters that much. But that is a showcase, guys, for the seasonal Kimono Android 18. By far my favorite art in the entire game. I mean, even the fact that she has an actual background as opposed to just diamonds, you can still see the diamond pattern a little bit, but it's very like faded. So that just makes her extra awesome in my eyes. <laughs> and uh, that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the showcase. Like I said, not a crazy unit, not gonna do a lot of damage, not gonna do anything really too well, but she's cool and she looks awesome. And I want more of these kinds of characters in the game band. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? I want to hear your opinions, but that's going to do it for today's showcase. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.